window cleaning to earn an honest bob. For a nosy parker, it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that just suits me. A window cleaner you would be if you can see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. Oh, coin, how are you? All right, Simon. Good to see you. Was that a hand. funny handshake there? Uh, no, <laughs> long story about that handshake. A long story. Uh huh. Uh, Not your pal. His handshake's completely different context uh, altogether. Cammy. Uh, uh, Cammy's. Uh, you know, it's Cammy. You know what his problem is, didn't you? So, yep. Good to see you. Yeah, good to good see you. Good game today. Know. It was a tough game. Um, playing the park coaches. Yes. But um, yeah, we played in two parts. It was good. Uh, it was really good playing against them. Uh huh. Uh, Did we win? It was a draw at the end. 1-1, one, one, lost one, three, won. one. No, no, 1-1, one, one, lost one, three, one. Um, it was good. The last game is at all out, you know, but which was tight. It just shows you how far we've come, though, uh, walking football on a, a two days before New Year uh -huh. and pouring the rain. I mean, this morning, my street lights went on as I came out of the house at half dark. past nine this morning because it, it was getting darker. Yeah, it, was dark. it was like murder. It was really dark. Or murder. Yeah. How did you get involved? What did you think when you first thought, or first somebody first said to you walking through football? Well, it was my son, Gary, who used to go to the Dennis Donnelly, you yes. know, the yep. coaching and that kind of stuff. And he asked me that, you know, usually walking football, we go line. And I first said, no, no me, no chance. Because I was, Why? I just thought that was for all people. Go on, say it. No, Maybe they'll watch that anyway. Was, it was all, I just thought for older people, and I was playing five or seven, seven or seven with younger guys, so that me, me kind of kept up playing that way. Where did you go? I'm, I'm 65, still 65 actually. I'm 65 yeah. for about a year now. Yeah, I'm 65. <laughs> but, you know, when I came along, I, that's a big difference, you know, big, big yes. difference. And I've actually gave up all that other stuff. Uh -huh. you know, I don't play the seven or What's the big difference then? Well, I think the guys over in age group and kind of stuff like that, the, the banter, you know, and, and walking football. My, my style of, so yeah. when you first heard the walking football, right. truthfully, think of the first thing you thought of when you never, heard that phrase. Never, never. No? Never. Why? Because I just thought it was a way of my capabilities. Cause because I, you were too good? Yeah, no, 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 I didn't think too it was fit. so good. Maybe too fat. You so, know, you think you need to be unfit to come and play walking football? I thought so, aye. That's what you thought? Aye, aye. And what's I, the reality? Oh, no, no, difference is no, no. Because oh, yeah, I know guys who are trying to stay fit to play walking football. So they are. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going full circle now. Yeah. Oh no, definitely the walking football. Special competitions. Yes. You know. Um, You're a good example, Mo, because we've got three different age groups. We've got the over 50s. Mm -hmm. We've got the low intensity, in fact, mm -hmm. which is for any age group, but it's very low intensity, no, no contact. We don't even worry about it touches too much. And you play in that. Mm -hmm. You play in the over 50s, mm -hmm. which is a different level altogether. Mm -hmm. You play in the over 60s, mm -hmm. and you helped us win the trophy in the over 65s cup. I should get that, yeah, in, shouldn't yeah. I? Still playing the Champions League yet, still to get Just that. Just sobered yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll yeah. get the Champions League coming in February. So you've experienced all the levels of walking football now. Yeah. When I started five years ago, there was only one level. Everybody played together. So it shows how we're coming on and coming on. And this morning, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've played 20 minutes all in football. Yeah, fast. Because there's guys fit enough now that yeah. they've got to a stage where they yeah. want to play. The point I'm making here is there's something here for everybody. Yeah, yeah. You think so? Yeah, no, definitely. Going back to the low intensity stuff, you've seen the guys that come along, watching them play and seeing guys how much have improved. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's one of the guys that play there, <clears throat> but Chris's name is, mm -hmm. he's actually got better yes. in low intensity. You know, so Aye, he gets a getting, chance. We give the guys like yeah, a chance. He's getting yeah. there anyway. I see he was know. trying some shots today as well. Is he? Aye. 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 No, all in all, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be here for a long, long time. A long, long, long time. Long, well, long. hopefully. God I willing. Be, I will be. Well, I, God keeps me. What's your background? Oh, the thing I meant to say to you was you know that you were second tier. Do you know about the C tiers? No, really. No. What happens is you bring somebody along to walk in football. And they're generally not used, right? And they're all right, they're keen, right? And that's great. But then they bring a friend, and that's okay. second tier, that's you. Okay. Gary brought you. Oh, he gave and it's the third one we're always looking for. In your okay. case, it was Cammy, who was our player of the year this yeah. year. Yeah. Thanks. So, just like you know, you're second tier, you know. Thanks for bringing Cammy. You can go now. No. <laughs> your job's done. No. Mo, tell us a bit about your background. Where are you from? Well, I was born in the Gorbals, 1956, right. Gorbals Street, in the old arches, um, the old arches. 
Um, <coughs> brought up there, um, brothers, sisters. Oh God, I I've got um, for five, six years. I've got three brothers and two sisters. Okay. They all stay in Livingston now. Right. I'm all in Southern Glasgow. Is this a story there? That uh, we should know about that you no, know no, about. No, them? no, no. My one dad one time moved out to Livingston. And they me. left you behind. Basically, and I was okay. still. I can understand that. I've known you for a wee while now. Now, because I was going with somebody at the time. Um, my wife now. I was right. going there at the time. I wasn't even through. Um, so I moved to Castlemock. Okay. Back nineteen like six, 68, uh, moved to Castlemore and been up there kinda of brought up there. What did you do for a living more? I've been into window cleaning, mm-hmm. you know, high level window cleaning, you know, low packs. Does that mean one story up, two story up? Uh, all the way up. Higher uh, level than uh, that. All the way up. Office box, hospitals, whatever. Right. Doing all my days, you know, Glen Eagles, hospitals, but um, done all my days. I'm in management now. Right. You know, I've been fifty every fifty years in it now. Wow. Getting the hang of it. Well, they retire next year, thank God. You know. Yeah, I mean, window cleaners done good for me. You mm-hmm. know. Um, the problem with window cleaners is you see them coming. <laughs> you know. It's a bit of the football. All the time, they always come. Must come. be some stories then through well, the windies. Come on, well, this could be our first X rated YouTube video. Well, I can give you one story Go about on. the hospital. I got offered a pair of shoes, a size nine. Uh-huh. It was in the mortuary. Right. The uh, Southern General, the guy had just passed away. He was 32, 33, oh. and the wee cleaner says, nice pair, brand new pair of shoes you want in the wood. You better see that guy lying there. I mean, yeah, they're his shoes, brand new. Oh, no chance, no chance. But yeah, there's plenty of stories, Sam, but I'd yeah. rather keep it to myself. You know. So what did you do with the shoes? <laughs> I never touched them. Come on. I never touched them. I said, no, no, thanks. You know, then she tells me that, you know, my mum died two weeks ago. I washed her body, you know, and I oh, Christ, she was, she was a, a cracker. Yeah, uh, there was a lot you of need to be a cracker to work in the mortuary, sure. do you know oh. what I mean? So, yeah, especially. Have you offered yeah. any boots? <laughs> 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 uh, if it had been uh, football boots, he'd still be wearing them. Actually, you know, being, being playing football my days, the window cleaning suited me with Saturday Sundays, Sunday, you don't want Sunday Sundays, Sunday, so you play uh, football on the weekends. Of course. Sunday, so football, when you always played? Played primary school, secondary school. Mm-hmm. Um, school did you go to? Well, primary school, we called place in Everton Primary is not there anymore. No. Secondary school was Glenwood, no there anymore. You know, oh. up at Castlemont. Yeah, they were the kind of two schools I went to. What did you do to these schools? I know, I know. <laughs> Somebody must have burned them down. It just, you know, I mean, I've been away from Castlemont now about 40 years now. So I, when I got married, I moved away to the Gor- back to the Gorbals. I went right. to my wife's for the Gorbals. Right. You know, right down there, uh, facing the railway club. What's your wife's name? Margaret. Margaret. Um, I, she's, um, she, was a, she works in the pharmacy. Um, she play at all? No. No, she... Because she's a tough level as well. She could be another good... No, she's, um, she's been up there all the years. You, know, with my you always back. played more? Always played. Always played. What was your position? I was back then as a sweeper. Right. You know, rubbish then? Pretty rubbish. Number, yeah. uh, number slow. Oh. Slow. slow. No, I mean, it's slow, I but... Normally I, people progress to sweeper when they're in their 40s, you know, that's where they end up. Think so. You were there early. No, early. no, I was yeah. there early. I was there all the days. You started off as a striker. Everybody used to call me Mo Offside. Yeah. You know, I saw a shouted Offside. But uh, I, must, I mean, I played in the City of Bourbon, the West of Scotland, uh-huh. Scottish Amateur, Saturday morning leagues, right. Sunday afternoon leagues, you know. You name it. And um, why number four? Because have we all picked our numbers? I know. Sweeper. I'm George Best. Sorry, I mean, sweeper. Sweeper. Franz Beckenbauer. He was the most famous number four, I can. No, um, Bobby Murdoch. I would say Jim Clark. Jim, was Jim Clark? Hey, John Clark. John Clark. Aye. John Clark. He was a shooter. <laughs> I didn't know we had a sweeper in those days. Well, number four for me. There was no, he was just active, he was just sweeping up me. But number four, uh, tidy John, John Clark. Tidy enough at the back. See, when we finish today in here, mm-hmm. can you go in the cupboard and get, get the, the brush? brush? <laughs> 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 get a, a brush at the back. I thought it was quite a red one. Brush at the back of me, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not days. So the four's not for a player? Nah. It's a position. It's just position in the back, yeah. you know. Obviously, Hanging any team I went, you had the number four, you know, played there. Um, you know, Cammy, Cammy used to run a team, boys were amateurs. Cammy, how long have you known Cammy? 1988. Right. No, no. Was that for football? Yeah, he was played, oh, I was very shield tall amateurs at the time. Did you meet him through a window or something? <laughs> 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 no, I've seen him playing, playing in a, a game one time, we beat him at 9 1, two weeks later, played in a shot in a cup final, he beat us 2 1. Right. Same Who team. did he play for? Played the Boswell, and I right. played with uh, Shield Tall at the time. Um, 
But aye, then we just kind of came friends and I moved into his team a couple of years later and ever since we've been together. You know? right. um, but aye, it's, I thought this would be my life. I've got a family, I've got four kids. Um, but aye, you know, I don't know what else to say, man. I've always well, been the walking, the walking football's uh, taken off now. In fact, you lent me a book about uh, England thousand. having an international team. Where do you think it's headed, Mo? I think that's... Um, Scotland should have one, mm-hmm. you know. Going with the competitions they played, there's a lot of good quality players out there. Yeah. Especially ex juniors, maybe some ex pros. Mm-hmm. There could be a lot of good. You could Scotland could do well. I mean, I don't know what the internationals are like. I know Chris has played in Spain and stuff like that, and I don't know what kind of quality is over there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think. Well, he gets the game. <laughs> 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 well, forget it. Competition in Glasgow and we're further out, you know. Mm-hmm. Scottish coming up, you know, yeah. it's coming up next year. Went forward to that. I just, I could just see this, you know, I know you're trying to the 65s to the 60s. I mm-hmm. don't know what the reason behind that was, because it could be harder for guys to come out at 65, 66, 67. But hey ho, that's where it's going to be next year. Yeah, just the reason gaps. behind it was that they had a survey. They put out, Walking Football Scotland put out a survey asking everybody what they thought about competitive, about everything. And the consensus was that we should have over 50s, over 60s over and over 70s. 70s. So the transition will be difficult because our over 65s team won the league right. and they're in the Champions League. Yeah. But our, we never had an over 60s team, so that changes the whole dynamic of it. So over 65s is going to be debunked then? Eh? After the Champions League, mm-hmm. yes, okay. I would say so. Okay, okay, we'll just have to adapt to that as well then. Uh-huh. That suited Glasgow, of course. That's maybe part of the reason why they changed it. Because all their over 50s that won their league are now over 60, so they just transform into their new over 60s team. Yeah, you read that book, you've seen England, they don't do three touches and all that kind of no, stuff, and here they, they do. It's cool, but they don't do three touches, you know what I mean? The rules are, are the rules round about. Aye, okay. Yeah. Mo, the one thing I wanted to do was to thank you because since you and you and Cammy came along, what March this year, something like that? Aye. So it's about nine months. Yeah. God, it feels a lot longer than that. Less it. than half. To me, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and to me. <laughs> the one thing I wanted to do was to thank you both because you've been involved in everything since then. Nearly every age group. I think you'd sneak into the over seventies if you could as well. You looked the part, but you, I couldn't see <laughs> like that. Again. But the two of you came to the Euro thing, yeah. at uh, Euro twenty, yeah. Yeah. and uh, Glasgow Green. You came to the low intensity a couple of weeks ago, which was great, it was because it was for the people non-competitive that we called it. Uh, although some of it got a wee bit competitive at one point. So I really wanted to thank you for all your support over the last nine months, and long may it continue. No, thanks, Nimora. Cheers, Simon. Thank you.